Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Wheelmasters Valve Extender Kit here on our 2022 Jayco Alante Motorhome. If you find it hard to air up the inner tire on your dual wheel rig, the valve extender is going to be the right option for you. This is going to allow you to easily run that hose up into that rear tire and then have it mount out on your hub. That way you can easily access it without having to really bend down and get into those hand holes or fight all these tight little bends that might be in there or anything else that kind of just gets in the way and prevents you from being able to easily air up your tires. These kits come in a variety of different sizes depending on the diameter of your wheel. So you're going to want to make sure that you measure your wheel first and then check out our fit guide and figure out exactly what size is correct for you. It also does come with a few different types of bends. So if you look at our inner one right here, it has a 135 degree bend. That way it makes it a little bit easier to come out. Obviously, that's not going to be the same for every single option out there. So there are other degrees that you can get to make it fit your rig how you need it to. And each of these hoses is going to come with a nice stainless steel braided covering over here, which is going to help protect that hose, make sure that no damage happens to it. It's not going to rub against anything on here like our hub cover, and we don't have to worry about it uh, rusting out and deteriorating. As far as installation goes, it can be a little bit tricky just depending on how much, kinda, how much stuff you got kind of in the way. Uh, like I said, those bends are really important to kind of figure out what you want beforehand so that when you get it, you can easily slip it into place and screw it on. Um, the inner wheel definitely is the harder one to get to just because a lot of the time the wheel rim itself kind of sits in the way. So it's a little bit harder getting that hose up on there and getting it started. But other than that, it really isn't hard. Um, just make sure that you get a rivet gun. That way you can easily put on your little brackets. So the first thing we have to do is remove our hub cover here. And to do that, if you look at your lug nuts, you're going to see on some of them there's going to be a little crimp. And we know that, that little crimp means that we're going to have to screw this off. So we'll get a socket. And we'll start pulling that back. These shouldn't be on there too tight. And we got a couple more here. We can start prying this out if you need to. If you need to, you can also use a little trim panel tool to kind of pop that off. And we'll set that aside. So next we can go ahead and start removing our caps from our valve stems. The outer wheel is going to be a whole lot easier just because it's right there for you. Typically when we get these, it's not already going to have a valve extender on the inner wheel, but they're wanting to switch over to this wheel master system where they can have both tied into the hub. So we'll first have to remove our little extender we have on here already. So there is a couple ways you can get your old valve extender off. Um, you can kind of just reach in through the handholes if there's enough room for you, or you can kind of just get under there and get behind the wheel and then get a little bit of access because we are going to need a wrench to get this off. Um, so it is kind of a bit of a struggle and hard to really show, especially getting my hand kind of in the way, but we're going to try our best here to let you guys see it as well. All right. So I've got it started. There we go. And I was able to just twist that off. Luckily, uh, we didn't need our wrench. Like I was thinking we would, I was able to grip it enough to kind of get it broken off of that valve stem. So now we can go ahead and grab our inner wheel valve extender and we're going to screw that on. This one being just a little bit fatter is going to give me a little bit more of an issue trying to get it in there. Try and get back under there. All right, I've got it started on there. We're just going to keep twisting that on. It's nice and tight. And you can hear that a little bit. We started pressing, pressing on the inner piece of our valve stem, which was letting out a little bit of air. Just keep tightening that down. Now that we have that screwed on, we're going to go ahead and take some soapy water and we're just going to spray that down. Make sure that we don't have any air bubbles forming. And if you look at it, you'll know right away, you'll see a bunch of it bubbling up if you don't have that on all the way. But it looks like we're good to go. And you can also kind of just test 
Also, if you press on that little inner piece right there, all good to go. So now we can go ahead, we'll do our outer wheel. Now this, there are a few different styles. Um, basically, it's what kind of bend that you wanna have with it. Ours today is 135 degree, but there are other ones, especially like 90s. Uh, those are pretty common. So this side's gonna be a whole lot easier to do because you can easily see exactly where you need to be. And we'll just tighten that down. I can hear that's starting to let some air out. That means we're pressing on that center. And there we go, we got that nice and tight. And we can take a 7 16 wrench and just fully tighten that down. And while you're doing that, you want to kind of angle your hose exactly where you want it to come out and kind of hold that in place as you fully tighten it. Now we'll go ahead and take some soapy water, spray that on there, and we don't have any air bubbles forming, so we know we're good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of test fit this in place because our next step is going to be mounting our little hangers that are valve extenders are gonna sit on. So your kit is actually gonna come with two different styles. There's one that's a little 90 degree angled piece which would rivet onto your center hub cap. Or if you had exposed bolts, then you could go ahead and pop those out, slide in this flat uh, bracket, and then put your bolt back through it, tighten it down, and then you'd have that spot ready to go for that. But since this is all Covering the bolts, we're not gonna be able to use that one. We will have to use our angled brackets with rivets, but I'm gonna find the right location first. So set this up into place. I wanna make it so that my hoses don't really have to bend too much. I don't wanna put a lot of tension or kink any of them. So I think right about there, what I'm gonna do is just take a little piece of painter's tape and mark my locations. And we can pop this off. brackets riveted into place. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball and just get my hole started here. And then we can match up our other hole. Now I can go ahead and insert my rivet. And while that's holding that in place, I can drill out my other hole and get my second rivet in place. Go ahead and do the same thing with our other one. All right, with both of those secured, we can go back to our wheel. And go ahead and uh, pop our cover back on. Lug nuts back on as well, kind of help pop it back into place. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten those down. I'm just doing it until they're snug. Now we can go ahead and just feed in our hoses and take our little nuts that we have and just start tightening those down. And then you can take a 3 8 socket or wrench and uh, just fully tighten it down. It doesn't have to be super tight, just enough to make sure that it's not going to come off of there. And now we'll do our inner. And same thing, just tighten that down. 
Now all that's left is to put on the caps. They do come with some for you. Nice metal ones, so you don't have to worry about them wearing out. Just screw those on. And now we can go and repeat the same process over on the other side. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Wheelmasters Valve Extender Kit here on our 2022 Jayco Alante Motorhome. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.